The reason why I got involved into the ProtonNet uh, program was actually that as a fellow I worked for the CERN Accelerator Technology Division and I worked on the um, luminosity requirements of the experiments, luminosity lifetimes and luminosity limitations in the LED LED running. And so when I then changed to work for uh, Alice in about 95, um, it was clear that the Proton Lab program is an integral part of the uh, heavy iron program and that we have to work for this. So I used my experience with the LED LED luminosity in order to write down the requirements for proton LED, in particular also the luminosity lifetimes and limitations, uh, possible limitations from the from the source. And actually it turned out that there are no additional requirements on the intensity of the beams and so at least on this part we uh, could tell the machine uh, not more than for the LED LED program has to be developed. At that time we were still discussing the possibility to have uh, deuteron LED collisions instead of proton LED collisions because in this case the center of mass energy could be closer to the LED LED energy and also there is no rapidity shift but it turned out that this would indeed pose or impose some difficulties for the machine. So in the following we pursued actually only the proton LED program and then in the mid of the, <coughs> I think around 2005-2006 we organized the first workshop just to tell the machine, or to tell the outside people how important the uh, proton LED program is. In, 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 indeed there is no LED LED program without the proton LED program because in order to interpret the LED LED data we need the reference from proton LED.